Hey guys, what's going on? Rob with 3 Strong here. Today I have the bench press set up. I'm going to show you how to work your chesticles, get that big old bench going, but we need to get you set up in the proper position. A lot of times people um, do a lot of bench pressing and they hurt their shoulders and even with push-ups, any sort of pressing motion um, can be problematic on your shoulder joint if you don't know how to properly get those shoulders set and get into uh, a good position. So I'm going to teach you how to get into that position. First thing is, um, let's just talk a little bit about the, the shoulder. Our shoulder is a really mobile joint. We, it's, it's actually the most, one of the most mobile joints in our body, which means that we have a great range of motion, but there's not a lot of stability. And so when you're training the bench press and trying to lift as much weight as possible, if we don't have that stability and that rock solid foundation in the shoulder, then things can go wrong, okay? This shoulder actually is a part of the, uh, is attached or sits in to the shoulder blade here. And the shoulder blade is really our foundation. If we think of that thing sitting on the back of our rib cage, this shoulder blade is, is the foundation with which we can produce power through the shoulder. So if our shoulder blade is very mobile and we start pushing, you notice how my shoulders have a lot of movement here? That's my shoulder blades moving. When you're doing a bench press or any sort of pushing motion, you want to lock those shoulder blades in and then allow the arms to do the work. And this keeps that shoulder from getting into those precarious positions, which ultimately can create um, that impingement. So, it's just like you're holding, well, a bar. When you're holding this bar, think about um, trying to break a stick. You're holding onto a stick and you're trying to break that stick. And what that does is that actually forces the shoulders to be down into that position. Once we get locked into that position, you're, pr you're probably gonna feel a little bit of tension here, down underneath, you're gonna feel it between your shoulder blades. So you're gonna try to break that stick, squeeze the shoulder blades back, hold that position with the shoulder blades, and then let the arms do the work. That is going to look like this. Sorry, I'm a little blown out here, okay? Once we get set up on that bench, get those feet firmly planted into the ground, get those hands set up. Um, in terms of the width, if you bring the empty bar down, you want your forearms to be vertical at the bottom. So once you go too wide, or too narrow, notice the elbows are out wide, the hands, the elbows are inside. If we get those elbows right underneath the wrists where the forearms are vertical, that's a good spot. So bring that empty bar up, think about breaking that bar. So notice how my elbows kind of twist under. I'm gonna break that bar, keep on holding that position with my shoulder blades, and then I'm gonna drive up from there. We don't want that back to flatten out. See this movement here, we don't want that. Lock it in, pull it back to the chest, drive straight up. And then from there, you're just going to keep on adding weight until you get to a point where you can't keep that position. You don't want to round the shoulders. We're not coming over the top like this. Get the shoulders set, drive forward. I've actually helped people with in shoulder, shoulder impingement issues back into the bench just by getting them into a better position. So if it can work for them, it could work for you. Okay, guys, get on that bench, start pushing away. See you tomorrow.